It's a okay. quick update. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so one euro will be 97 cents. So and it's not bad. It's like not, a few It's three seconds. cents off. Yeah, a few cents. <laughs> What's good, good y'all? It's the Duma Shots React, and we're, we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we are back with another American reaction. We're super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and we're new, new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that red subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell, because we're, we're on the road to 50K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Bonjour tout le monde, welcome back to We in France, I'm Diane, and today we are at a very special French supermarket, it's called Grand Frais. We're going to head inside, I'm going to show you some of my favorite products, and I'll tell you more once we head inside. So let's get out of the car and we'll get going. First, to give you some background, mm. Grand Frais translates to Big Fresh, and that's mm. exactly French. what this supermarket is all about. A beautiful selection of fresh food across different departments, including produce, a fishmonger, a dairy section, and more, as noted by the colorful signage. There are 248 Grand Frais stores in France and Belgium, and they are all designed to resemble a covered market. What you won't find at Grand Frais are non-food items, such as toilet paper, or a selection of cleaning products, or everyday brands across categories. It's not a one-stop shop grocery store for most people, but is a great place to go for good quality food, a lot of it sourced regionally, in addition to having a variety of international products. Okay, in we go. Let's get it. Okay, so before we go into the store, this is supposed to be designed as a covered market. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys know that in Louisiana, we have a lot of, you know, French history, of course, you know, French territory and all of that. So we have a lot of these type stores that's still there. We do. Um, especially in the French quarters in New Orleans, there's like French markets and um, it's covered, <laughs> but it's not covered, if that kind of makes sense. Everything, it's like a market. Yeah. It's like a market. <laughs> it's a building. <laughs> Let, let's go. I don't know how to explain it. What is it? But it's a French market. No, nah, I get I get what you're saying, and they have just straight food products in there. Yeah, like the way everything is designed is. I think that's like people just sticking to the groundwork of what it uh, food market is supposed to be. Yeah, I without, haven't taken you there. No, nah, so without you having you haven't. I haven't taken you there because we haven't. We didn't have to go shop for groceries. But then they anymore. have <laughs> then they have these uh, stores like Walmart. Target. Yeah, it's totally. Different. Um. Yeah, and they have these products in there where you can. They try to. I feel like they try to spread everything thin by mm. giving you everything you want in one basket. You know what I'm saying? But let's just keep it simple. I want to go to a grocery store and shop. So yeah, let's just, just for go food. Strictly shop. But I'm sorry. I like. I like my um store to be a one stop shop. Yeah. I mean, I, I would feel, love everything to just be fresh. Yeah, I feel like they have more to offer. Yeah. Like more food products. I mean, Walmart is like yeah. a really. I'm, I'm just using Walmart for reference, but Walmart is a huge store. But it, what if they used the whole store for just food? Mm. Golly, that's mm. like the more items they can put in yes. the shelves. I'm, I'm just saying. More options. More options. That's me. I'm grabbing a little back, back uh -huh. basket. Right, I ain't gonna do too much today. Okay, fish with the head on. Mm. Tell you what type of fish you're getting. Mm -hmm. Fresh tomatoes. Nice size, oh, those bell peppers. peppers, man. Yeah. So something Ooh, you're gonna notice right away at Grand Frais is their produce is absolutely spectacular. You're gonna see produce from all over the world, so it's not just from France, it's not just local, and it's a great place to come if you need a special type of fruit or vegetable, maybe for uh, an international recipe. You can find all different kinds of things. It's beautifully displayed, so colorful, brightly lit. I like it, bro, but hey, it's my thing. Don't put the bad at the top and then put all the good fruit at the bottom. <laughs> Let that mug run empty. 
and then refresh it yes. with some fresh food products. Yes. You feel me? Yes. I don't, let, I, it, let it be empty. Bro, one time my avocado was so soft. Mm-mm. I was like, what is this good? Why? It's not supposed to be like this, Mm-mm. right? Like, it's supposed to be to a point where it's nice and good, but it was just done, and they did not want to take it off the shelf. Right. I like, hold on, wait. I like that um, she said that there's not just foods from France there, um, but, you know, from all around. Mm-hmm. I like that. Mm-hmm. I have to say, this is not indicative of look. regular grocery stores in France. This is just a spectacular selection. And something I always point out is the word bio right here. That means organic, and most of the okay. eggs here are all organic. And just for a price reference point, it looks like a dozen of medium-sized eggs is three seventy-nine in this particular store. Okay, hold on. Let me explain what I'm doing before y'all say it's not USD. So, I am going to take out a um, currency exchange. Because <laughs> last time. Y- y'all thought I was looking at the prices and saying that it's um, USD. It's USD. No, we were converting in our minds how much it, how would, much it would be. Had it been on this side, you feel me? So. Just a okay. quick update. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so one euro will be 97 cents. So and it's not bad. It's like not, a few It's three seconds. cents off. <laughs> yeah, a few seconds off. So. Yeah, so three seventy nine. that's about the price of our eggs. Yeah. And something that's gotten more popular over the years, although it does create a bit of waste with the plastic, is you'll see packaged, pre-cut, ready-to-go fruits and vegetables. Now, when I really first sealed. moved to France, you would not see zoodles or anything like this. The, the uh the zucchini spaghetti or chopped vegetables if you're in a rush uh, or you're not big on yeah. cutting your own stuff this can come in handy but as i said you'll see a lot of plastic and more on that in a second when i take you over to the cheese i like how they let their food products speak for itself they don't mm-hmm. have to get a bag with the same product in the bag on the bag you know right. what i'm saying like i hear right. we got chop vegetables in the bag but they will have a picture of a bag a whole advertisement with the advertisement <laughs> on it they then drew everything on there and then you open the bag it's the same damn thing i'm like oh okay so everything i need is in the bag already it's like yeah you see what you eat what you buy mm-hmm. and who i would like to see that i want to make sure my food is fresh you know yeah so so here this type of thing with um what you were just talking about the plastic wrap that would be the people in the store and sometimes you know it come from um the warehouses not warehouses Wherever it come from, <laughs> mm-hmm. before it gets to the store, packaged that way. Um, and then they're also, you know, like from the big um, food factories, it will be frozen in the refrigerator. So we have those options for people who don't like to cut up things. And, you know, uh, most of the time, people who buy those options are like people who's just starting to learn how to cook. People who yeah. are, you know, in a rush that day. <laughs> Sometimes we're in a rush, you know, so we'll get that. But not, 99% of the time, we cut up our own vegetables yeah, and stuff. the process. So, um, yeah. So, people like that. I like the process. There are a lot of nice things for apéro if you're going to have a little party, some people over, maybe not during the time of COVID, but uh, maybe just with your family. A lot of nice options already made, easy to put together. Uh, just pop them in the oven. And then directly to my left, we have all kinds of charcuterie products, uh, all types of cured ham and meat and that sort of thing. There's really no shortage. The meat look like they drained it. It's always nice to see. <laughs> yes, it's over sealed. Here. Let's see sealed. What they have this week. So they have different types of jams on sale here. Yeah. We look at your jelly, babe. <laughs> a raspberry. We also have some. I keep it simple. I like grapes. Some orange juice down below. And it looks like these jams are about two forty nine each. When you do your grocery shopping in France, here are three quick tips. One, unless you like crowds, avoid Saturday afternoon shopping at all costs. Stores really tend to be busy with long lines on Saturday afternoon. Two, be sure to bring your own reusable shopping okay. bags because in most cases, free bags are not provided at checkout. If you forget, though, you can always buy them. And three, if you plan on using a shopping cart, remember to bring a one euro coin or token that you get from the store directly. You'll need it to unlock the cart and we'll get the coin or token back upon returning it. Also, I've done a bunch of other... 
So, um, Aldi, of course, now we know that that's a German store. Aldi mm -hmm. does that here, but I feel like Walmart, Target, all of our other stores need to get in line with this. Because right. we wouldn't see so many people walking down the street with a shopping cart. Oh, you went there with it. I was going to say loose uh, shopping carts just running in the parking that lot. Too. Bumping cars whenever the weather's crazy. But you do see a lot of park baskets with just random stuff in it. Yeah. On the curb and somewhere. Of course, we do have the lock feature. If it go too far out, it will lock. But that <laughs> people could find their way around that too. Just cut that wheel off. You know, and of course, I do understand some people, you know... May not have a car, and they may need to wheel their uh, groceries 100%. down the street. Yep, but yep, yep. yeah, for grocery store content on my channel that I'll link above. So if you like this sort of thing, I'd love for you to check out those other videos. Oh, and I'm on Instagram here if you'd like to follow me. And to switch it up a little bit, there's a nice goat cheese here with uh, dried cranberries on it, and uh, all different kinds of cheeses. Looks like there are a few promos going on. Uh, $16.99 a kilo for something called the Fleur de Lava. Not a cheese I'm familiar with, but as you'll notice, as I said, unfortunately, all of these cheeses are pre-cut and pre-cut in plastic packaging, and it's I think my all pair would definitely do better with <laughs> right You know, you still have yet to go to that uh, section that you told me about. Waste. What? The, the cheese section? In Kroger? Yeah. Uh, one day. One day. I love cheese, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I, cheese can really make or break your dish. Mm -hmm. Man, it's like the its right own, type. Yeah, like if you use the right type of cheese for the right dish, bro. Oh my gosh, you're working with something. Yeah, who is that with the cheese? Italy. You, Which Italy, country is, is known Italy. for the cheese? I think you got it right. I think it's Italy. Italy. Yeah, we're gonna go with that one. If we're wrong, we're wrong. Yeah, we're gonna well, bite the bullet. We're wrong, I'm gonna. I need to go behind the scenes. I yeah. need to mix up the cheese and see the cheese getting cured and all that. That's me. I'm a cheese girl all day. But they have an amazing selection, lots of great cheeses, and uh, they're not crazy expensive. I mean, if you buy a whole kilo, it gets a little expensive, but they do run promos. And just for an example, this Conte right here, this is about 0.154 kilos, and it's 3.23, coming in at 20.99 a kilo. So maybe you'll see some cheeses you're familiar with. Maybe there are ones that are new to you, but uh, they have a really nice cheese selection. And then continuing on with the dairy section, they have all kinds of yogurts. And again, everything tends to be high end. So the prices you're seeing here and the products are not indicative of